What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I want to share with you what could be the next great exploit in Splinterlands. <laughs> now, okay, I sorry for the clickbait title, but I do want to get your opinion on whether you would consider this an exploit. Now, there are certain things that I think could deem it such, but then there's also certain limitations uh, based on the economy design. So I think that there is something good about that, that we wouldn't have to worry about this if it got too far. So I'm going to explain this to you uh, and, I'll, and I'll get back to that in a second. I just want to look at bronze because to me, if this happens at all leagues, it makes sense. But if it happens in bronze, that is the easiest entry point for people. It's the cheapest. You need the least amount of SPS. So if an exploit, quote unquote exploit, can happen in bronze, then it can, you know, then um, that's that's where the, the biggest, uh, we'll call it vulnerability would be within the game. So what I'm going to show you right here, if you are in bronze and you are in bronze one or close to bronze one, you would be making, uh, according to the reward pool here, on average, roughly 0.223 SPS per win. This is in modern league. Uh, you make a little bit less in wild, but we'll just focus on modern. So you would make 0.223 SPS per win. And uh, the important thing here is that if you multiply this 0.223 times the value of SPS currently, which is now up to 1.9 cents, right? So 0.019, you'd be making four tenths of a penny. Now, if you were to buy extra energy and you'd be burning DEC, so that's why I don't think that this is as much of an exploit, but if you were to burn DEC, right? and therefore burn one DEC for one energy in bronze. Let's divide this by the current value of DEC, uh, 0.78 I think is where it's at. You would be making a 5x return. So you are paying one DEC in return, or you're paying less than a penny, right? Or uh, less than one tenth of a penny for the chance to 5x that, more than 5x that value. So if you have a 20% win rate in bronze one, you'd be breaking even. And most people are probably going to be between a 40 to 60% win rate on average, right? If you're just an average player within the game, usually it's like 50, 50 for a lot of folks. So at this point, it's very profitable to play in bronze. And the thing is, of course, it's limited by the amount of energy that you are able to buy, right? So you have 24 energy that you get per day, plus the additional 25 that you can buy at the reduced rate. But even still, at a penny and a, or at, at you know a DEC and a half, this is still quite profitable if you're able to play at the higher levels of bronze. So what I'm talking about here is from an exploit standpoint, if you were to look at it and say, okay, well, if it can happen in bronze, that means people can come and start accounts. Uh, you know, a wide number of accounts. Rather than going narrow, they go wide. And all of a sudden, they, they bring online a 1,000 bot accounts. They're all buying, uh, you know, energy, which in a sense, like I said, is helpful because it's going to burn a lot of DEC. But ultimately, they're receiving more SPS value for it than they would be in the, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the short term. Here's the other area in which this is somewhat closed off. The bronze reward pool is set, right? I, I'm not sure how much is in there, but it's a, a limited amount and it doesn't carry over to the other parts. So after a certain point, right? Let's say, uh, you know, just, just to make things easy, let's say the, the number of people playing in bronze doubled. Well, then what you could probably expect is that the reward pool would have, right? So you'd only get 0 0.11, which which would re reduce the exploit. And obviously, the more and more people that come into bronze, that that's essentially what would happen. But how many people would we need? I, I don't know. And how many people are willing to go and kind of make the investment? Because one, let, let's say you have the bot accounts already, right? Maybe you bought on your own. You don't need to go in and buy one of like the Archmage or Xbot tokens. You run your own bots. So one, you would need to buy a, a spell book. And then two, you'd actually need to have the cards or rent the cards to make it worthwhile. Therefore, every win. So again, there's a startup cost there. There's a maintenance management cost, whatever the case is. But you are able to come away with a lot more. Now, that's just me talking about this happening on a wide scale. I do believe that it's probably going to be happening at all of the different levels once we reach certain thresholds. So at Silver... It's, uh, it's not currently profitable, but it's close. And then for me at Diamond, just to do a little spot check here, right? So in Diamond, uh, 3.274 times 0 0.019, 
means that I make roughly 6.2 cents per game, right? Now, 150 DEC is the cost, 0.78. So it's about 11 cents, or we'll just say 12 cents, uh, versus my 6 cents that I make. So if SPS were to double, or let's say we get the Pro Human League and the amount of SPS were to increase, right? So either the value of SPS doubles, goes from like 1.9 cents to 3.8 or something, or because there's less people playing in the future, you know, human only league for modern format, all of a sudden I'm not making 3.2 SPS, I'm making uh, 6.4 SPS or, or more. What, again, just, just rough math here. The point that I'm trying to make is that all of a sudden now it becomes profitable for me because on average, I'm making back what, what I'm, I'm putting into it. No, actually, in that, in that case, I wouldn't be making it back. I'd be, I'd be rolling the dice every single time. We'd have to go significantly higher. But again, my, my point is this is going to be an interesting, to wa uh, interesting thing to watch as we move along to see how it gets used. And I'm not tracking how much DEC is getting burned for energy right now, but I think that'll be something good to track and hopefully maybe one of the... Uh, uh, some, someone like Splex or someone like uh, Splinter Cars or Peak Monsters will be able to put that together over time. But I know I know there's a place that we can see it in real time, just not tracked over time. But just wanted to share this with you. There's, I guess there's an amazing opportunity in bronze right now if you have alt accounts. I'm not telling you to go and farm the system. I'm just saying that if you do then the rewards are pretty good right now, as, assuming you can make it to high bronze, right? So there's there's a lot of other factors in there. What I'm trying to just highlight is the fact that for additional energy right now, you are coming away like a bandit. And as we rise, hopefully, in price, in value, and maybe even quantity of SPS with the pro-human modern league coming, um, you know, hopefully in the near future, that may factor into this as well. At the end of the day, I'm not as concerned about it. You can see there's a big smile on my face. I'm not saying like, oh, this is going to be a big problem because each of these reward pools are capped, right? And if it's profitable for anyone, that, that means it's profitable for you too, right? If it's profitable for, for you know a single person, then you can go in and essentially do the same thing too. What I worry about is that we may see some resistance and, and selling pressure on SPS if we do get a lot of accounts that end up farming it, realizing they can pay one DEC and get X amount more DEC from that by selling the SPS and maybe even exiting the, the system entirely. But either way, it would force us to burn a lot of DEC. I think that it would help us get closer to PEG. So... I'm not too worried about it, but I want to get your opinion now that you see the numbers here, at least in bronze, and what this could potentially look like in the future. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.